Tattoos are amazing. I'm actually making this video because I love tattoos. They mean so much to me. They look fantastic and it, it's a good way to express yourself. The reason I'm making this video is because, well, I got this recently. My blue eyes, white dragon, and yes, I am aware there is no blue as of this moment. Once it's healed, I'll go get a touch up, we'll add some blue to it. Ah, it will be fantastic. So, I wanted to talk about tattoos. I actually have quite a bit. I'm going to do mostly my upper body because I'm not sure how TikTok's going to go with me taking my pants off. Not really something I like doing much. Most of the time. I mean, look, you get home from a bad day, sometimes taking the pants off and letting it, you know, come out. Good stuff. Kind of helps out to get the air going through it. But anyway, let's do a bit of a change up because you can't really see what I've got. So, there. As you can tell, you can see some here. You can see it there. And of course, along my arms. Got a few over there. So, here's the thing. Tattoos, I think, are some of the best things in the world. They're not cool. I mean, some people get them because they think they're cool, but in the end, I think it's better to have them because it's an art piece of who you are, your belief, who you are, what you've gone through, and it's quite amazing. So, for example, I love Motorhead, right? Motorhead, rock band, my favorite rock bands, honestly, Lemmy, fantastic. Growing up with them, I love Motorhead, so much so that I got Motorhead's emblem, uh, War Pig, tattooed on me, which I gotta get a touch up and all that, but it means a lot. I didn't get it because it looked cool, and I, even though I still think it does look cool, I got it because to me, Motorhead got me through the hard times in high school, uh, it got me through the bad times where I just couldn't understand anything, and you're going through life, and everything that came from year 8 to year 12, that music got me through everything, and I loved it, and that's why, because Motorhead, just amazing, best rock and roll out there, 10 out of 10. But then you got ones like, well, Tool. Again, one of those great bands that I've loved since I was in high school, but also one of those bands that I've loved because of the art, Alex Gray's art. Amazing stuff. Again, more 10 out of 10. But it opened my mind to the wonders of the music, but the artistry that kind of came together. Again, stuff like that really invoked who I am and showed me who I could be and just how I evolved, and I think that's a very powerful thing. Um, this one on here. Okay, Nordic, right? So we've got a nice Nordic one. This is great. So I personally love Norse mythology. It's my jam, it's my jam, it is my big ass jam. Like, I know I said jam three times, but it's so important I thought I had to get it in there three times. So the great thing about, I think, Norse mythology in general, and the great thing about this as well is one of my favorite video games is the original God of War game and Ragnarok. So that was the aesthetic side of things. But when it came to the art piece, I just thought, you know what? Let's just show that off. And it's good because it's against a, a dragon, which again, kind of thematic, love dragons. But it's good because it takes in, like, it doesn't matter what you're fighting up against, you still have the power, Thor's power, uh -huh, to beat it. <clears throat> very simple stuff, very symbolic in many ways, but I think it really shows how, how we can have a art piece on there and really fight through the pain of life itself, and I really think it did a really good job. I love it. Now, you're probably thinking though, what is your favorite piece? Well, each piece has its heart and value with something that I love and what I've gone through. My first tattoo I ever got, which was this one, Tier, which you should be able to see. That was my first tattoo. Not the best, not perfect, probably needs to make it more interesting, but it was my first tattoo. And when I first got it, the day I got it, um, my brother's dad died. Same mum, different dad. So that means a lot to me. Every time I see it, I just I just think of that day where a, a lot of life-changing things happened. And that was a really interesting journey that I went through. Same with, well, my Norse one, you know. That, that was a very much, uh, I'm a warrior. I can keep going through many different things and I don't want to give up. Warpig, again, <laughs> the music, how music can, this was to show... A, a visualization of how music can really invoke, evolve, and really shoot to get you through the dark times. And all of this is a really good stuff, I think, and really speaks to your inner person of who you are. Now you're probably thinking, well, what's your favorite? I love them all. I love all my tattoos. But my favorite has to be this one. Spyro. Other than being a dragon, because dragons are the shit, but also the fact as well, as a kid, I beat Gateway to Glimmer, 100%ed it, and I did the glitch. I'm pretty sure it was a glitch. It might have been a game edition. I don't know. But back in the day, it was probably just a glitch where you could restart the game with like the mega ultimate one-shot kill Dragon's Breath, which I thought was the best. 
But to me, this tattoo will always mean a lot to me. And this is why it's as close to the heart as I could get it on the day. Um, <laughs> because it was the best weekend of my life. Now, I've had a lot of weekends. And I mean, I've had a lot of great weekends from um, red carpet weekends to working on feature films to just trying something new, you know. I've had all those great weekends. But this one, this represents the best weekend I've ever had in my life. Ever. This represents the weekend I met the love of my life, uh, my soulmate, the woman I want to marry, have kids with, like, this, this, this was a visualization of the most wonderful person I've ever met that showed me and really made me understand that everything bad I went through, like, I've gone through a lot of weird shit, a lot of bad stuff, this is a representation of all that bad stuff in my life that I kept fighting through, and all the times I said to myself, no, I'm gonna keep going, instead of giving up, instead of ending it all, I kept going, and then, the day that I got this was the day that my life changed forever, where I met that wonderful person who just took all the darkness away, that uh, uh, made me be me, that I could be myself, and it really showed. So every time I get bad, every time I get dark, I look into this and go, no, you're worth it, because you earned it. You earned the good life that you deserve. And that's a very powerful thing, because in the end, tattoos can mean so much. You can get them because you think they look cool. That's fine, you know? I think all my tattoos look cool. I think it's a very good symbolization and visualization of who I am. But in the end, the best thing about tattoos in general is that it is a good pathway to memory. So go get those memories. Go out with your loved one, your family member, whatever, and just sit there and be like, let's get a tattoo. Let's have a memory. Let's go out and explore the world. Get a memory. Oh, we were in Tibet. Let's get a tattoo there. You know, with your family members, with your parents, with your your loved one, with your wife, your husband, or whatever, your best friend. Use these. Take those art pieces and create that wonderful memories that you can have on here. So every time and when shit gets bad, because in life things will get bad, you can look back on these memories and never give up and never give in because you know what you're worth and you know what you can accomplish and have accomplished and what you deserve. So that's to me is why I think tattoos, some of the best things in the world. But hey, just my opinion. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Viking out. See you in Valhalla. Bye.